I grew up looking up to a team of six individuals, each with their own special skill set who came from all walks of life and were united by one common goal, and that goal was to spread and defend the idea of freedom far and wide. That's right, I'm talking about the village people. I loved those guys when I was a kid. They sang songs about the greatest things in the world, working in the Navy, going to the YMCA, and being a macho man. Hell, I went into the Navy, grew this sweet beard, and coached rec league baseball and basketball at the YMCA every weekend because of those guys. They completely changed my life. It's a good thing to have heroes. They inspire you to achieve greater goals, but you never think you'll get to meet one of them in person, let alone all six. I was stationed on a carrier out of Norfolk when I saw a flyer by the docks advertising a live performance by the village people in Fire Island, New York at something called Pride Weekend. Well, you know what? I've been wearing bell bottoms since 86 and I own a badass parrot. Ain't nobody got more pride than me. And dollars to donuts, they are gonna play in the Navy, which is totally my jam. I'm going to this shindig. So, I arrived at the uh, Pride Parade Festival and I'll be honest, it was a little bit different than what I was expecting it to be. At first, I was excited because I saw a lot of guys dressed as seamen, and I thought I was in the company of a lot of my sailor brothers. And then I noticed I was the only one in regulation uniform, and by regulation, I mean that my pants were the only ones with the butt cheeks not cut out of them. These guys were clearly imposters. But what was more troubling than these imposters were the guys dressed as actual seamen. That just seemed a little inappropriate and gross. It's not like we're at a science fair. There were also a lot of dudes with mustaches. A few times I thought I'd run into Jungle Recon, but it was actually just a dude in rollerblades and crotchless cargo shorts, which is something I could totally see Jungle wearing on the weekend, so they can't really blame me for the mistake. The concert was actually good. Those guys put on quite a show, and they sang in the Navy twice, once in English and in Spanish. Man, those guys are pretty talented. All in all, I had a great time, although there were not nearly as many sexy ladies at the show as I was expecting to see. The few that did attend were a little tall and rugged looking, if you know what I mean. Most of them had pretty wicked five o'clock shadows, but on the plus side, they knew the words to all the songs and didn't make me pay for drinks. In fact, they even bought me a few free rounds of these real exotic drinks called apple teenies, which I'd never heard of before. Imagine a Jolly Rancher made out of booze that came in a real fancy glass. After the show, I even bought an autographed poster signed by all six of the guys in the band right there on the spot. The little guy in the leather getup told me he really liked my tattoo and my beard. It was quite a compliment coming from such a man's man. Said he was going to Facebook me some backstage photos. I'm looking forward to it. When I got back to the ship, the first thing I did was hang that new poster right above my bunk. All the guys are constantly making fun of it, which obviously means they're jealous as hell. I don't blame them. It's not every day you get to meet all your heroes, especially while drinking an apple teeny.